In this video, I'll show you how you can use the text-to-speech feature in Articulate Storyline. And I'll show you how the text-to-speech feature works in Storyline, how you can convert written text to spoken audio step-by-step, -step, how you can get the most of your text-to-speech by sharing some useful tips, and last, I'll show you some examples how you can use it in your next e-learning project. Hi, I'm Mark Sperman from Purport Online Learning, where I teach you how you can create e-learning modules yourself with Articulate Storyline. And are you new here? Then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. With the text-to-speech feature, Articulate Storyline converts your written text to a computer-generated audio file where a voice reads your text out loud. Storyline supports 28 languages, as you can see, from English to Dutch, from Arabic to Chinese. And each language has its own voices you can choose of. So, for instance, in English here, there are seven voices. If I choose Dutch, which is my home language, there are two voices. And if I choose Chinese, there's only one voice. Now, now you know this. Let's see how you can use text-to-speech feature in Storyline. To use the text-to-speech feature in Articulate Storyline, you will click the Insert tab. And on the Insert tab, you will click the down arrow under the Audio button. And now you can choose Text-to-Speech. And you'll see the Insert Text-to-Speech window opens. And in the upper right, uh, left corner of this window, you can select one of the 28 languages. And next to it, you can choose uh, a voice of your text-to-speech. And as earlier said, each language has its own voices. So for instance, if I have Dutch here, there are two voices. If I choose English, there are seven voices. If you want to know how the voice that you've chosen sounds, you can click the play button before preview voice. Uh, the voice will speak the sentence, hi, my name is, and the name of the voice. And I will read the text that you type here in her his or own language. So let's uh, hear a preview of Sally. Hi. My name is Sally. I will read any text you type here. Now, there are two ways to enter your text here. And the first way is to type or copy the text that you want to read out loud. And the second option is to import or copy text from your slide notes tab uh, to enter to the text to speech window. What you could do if you have a voiceover script is copy the script parts on the notes section on each slide and you can easily import them in the insert speech window by clicking the button copy from slide notes. Now, as you can see, I click here, here is the text. This is also on my notes tab. So you see the text is now visible and it's almost time to click the insert button. But before you'll do that, you have to decide if you want to have closed captions for your audio file. So if you want to this, you have to check the box in the upper right corner of the screen before uh, generate closed captions. And Articulate Storyline will generate the closed the captions for you. Now you can convert up to uh, 10,000 10, characters at a time. Now if your script is longer than that, break it up in smaller chunks and you can generate more than one text-to-speech audio file clip on your timeline. Now it's time to click on the insert button and Storyline now converts the text to audio. On the timeline you will see now if I click here that there is an audio file. If you want to preview this audio simply right click and click on preview audio. And if you're net, not satisfied with the audio, you can simply edit the audio by right-clicking the audio file and choosing here for uh, text-to-speech. And now you can see that the insert text-to-speech window opens again and you can create the adjustments that you will have to, to take. Now, the next step is that I will share some tips with you for using text-to-speech in Articulate Storyline so you'll get the best possible result. So the first tip when you're using text-to-speech is that you don't use any uh, abbreviations. Spell out the words in your script to make sure that they're pronounced correctly by the storyline voice. So for instance, I have here TTS and 
you can replace it by text to speech. And there is another text to speech here, a TTS, it's where it's text to speech. Now, and the second tip is that if a word is spelled correct but isn't pronounced the way you want, you can try spelling it, spelling it phonetically, or add hyphens between uh, syllables. For instance, if you have, uh, and I can copy it here, articulate, and it is not a pronounced correctly, you can also write it made a hyphen and it says articulate. So, and the third tip is that you can use punctuation in your text, such as commas and semicolons. And when you do this, uh, you create a brief pauses in your audio, so it's better uh, hearable. And the fourth tip is that if you want to have longer pauses, it's also possible. What you can do is, and I will update this, uh, also click the audio file, go to edit audio, go to when it's loaded the file where you want a, a longer a pause, for instance here, and click on silence. And now you can insert the duration of the silence, for instance, one second, if I click on OK, and Storyline will add a, a duration of one second in your audio. Now you know exactly how to convert text to speech in Storyline and how you can edit the text to speech file if your pronunciation isn't to your liking. Now let's talk about some cases how you can use text to speech in your next project. Now the first way to use text to speech is if you want to send the first version for test to your client and you know there will be adjustments and there is voiceover in your in your e-learning. You don't gonna record the voiceover by professional voiceover uh, if it's not the final version. But what you can do is you can let Storyline uh, generate the voiceover text for you. So when and then when your course is final, you can have the voiceovers recorded by a professional voiceover, and you can simply change the audio files. Uh, if you click here and said here by replace audio, so you can replace the. Uh, text-to-speech audio files for the audio files that you've got from the professional voiceover artist. The only thing that you have to be aware of is that you must check the timing of some elements on the timeline uh, if they're uh, on the same line. Now, uh, if you're on a small budget and your course is in different languages, what you also can do is uh, have a voiceover for the different languages. The, the notes here are also in um, the, the text to speech uh, or the, the output file, the translation output file, you see it here. So you can uh, let translate it, import it back to the storyline. And the next thing that you can do is um, import them into a text to speech window. And um, you can uh, let the voice for the language uh, uh, speak the spoken words. What you must check is if the storyline uh, supports all the uh, languages that you have to uh, translate it to. So these are th two things that you can use it in your next storyline uh, project. Now a last remark is that you can't compare a storyline's text-to-speech feature with real uh, professional human voiceovers. But I've used it now in a few projects and there were very few pronunci pronunciation issues. The only thing is that the voices could speak a little bit slower. So you have to add uh, uh, columns and semicolons and some um, uh, silences. And there's also a thread about this in the Articulates forum uh, about that uh, to slow down the, uh, the voices. So I hope. Articulate Storyline will bring a text-to-speech feature update soon. Do you have any questions about embedding your Articulate Storyline course in WordPress or about Articulate Storyline in Common? Then place a comment below its videos and I promise to answer it. And if you want to create great engaging yearly in Articulate Storyline, make sure that you get my free step-by-step -step guide on how I create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And I know for sure that it will help you because it describes my whole process that I use for every e-learning module in Articulate Storyline that I built. And was this video useful to you? 
then hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos.